October 10th. The reading is entitled, Emptying the Vessel. That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Philippians 2.15 Transformation of character is to be the testimony of the world of the indwelling love of Christ. The Lord expects his people to show that the redeeming power of grace can work upon the faulty character and cause it to develop in symmetry and abundant fruitfulness. But in order for us to fulfill God's purpose, there is a preparatory work to be done. The Lord bids us empty our hearts of the selfishness which is the root of alienation. He longs to pour upon us his Holy Spirit in rich measure, and he bids us cleared away by self-renunciation. When self is surrendered to God, our eyes will be opened to see the stumbling stones which our unchristlikeness has placed in the way of others. All these God bids us remove. He says, Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that he may be healed. James 5.16 Then we may have the assurance that David had when, after confession of his sin, he prayed, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will be converted unto thee. Psalm 51 verses 12 and 13 When the grace of God reigns within, the soul will be surrounded with an atmosphere of faith and courage and Christ-like love, an atmosphere invigorating to the spiritual life of all who inhale it. Everyone who is a partaker of Christ's pardoning love Everyone who has been enlightened by the Spirit of God and converted to the truth will feel that for these precious blessings he owes a debt to every soul with whom he comes in contact. Those who are humble in heart the Lord will use to reach souls whom the ordained ministers cannot approach. They will be moved to speak words which reveal the saving grace of Christ. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.